Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. This is our adventures into the deep mines, where we shall find treasure, adventure, and perhaps some semblance of friendship amongst our group. Hi, this is Jim. I'm going to be storyteller for Lost Mine of Fandelver. To my left is my first player. I am Kelly, and I'll be playing Tilda Wimblewick, a.k.a. Nimbenick, a.k.a. Penwee Pinchbibble, a.k.a. Peewee. I am a rogue, half, uh, rogue halfling. Okay, I am Carrie, and I'm playing Galen the Gallant, and I am a human fighter, and I, uh, and folk hero, and I use my special weapon as the bow. Uh, I'm Gary, and I'll be playing the Dwarf Cleric, Drain Gunderson. I'm Xander, and I will be playing Slatin Liaden, the uh, incredibly handsome and smart elf mage. And humble. And so (laughs) so modest. Delightfully humble. (laughs) My name is Jocelyn, and I will be playing Dilek, Lady Corlin, who is, you know, just a delightfully dressed, charming, and helpful possibly a vicious human fighter here to help others by telling them what to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, That's ladies. Awesome. My character has a big brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is so, so this is the first time we've delved into the fifth edition. Just a couple quick changes and rules that have, that have gone on is skills have been changed slightly that if you look on your sheet, it'll have them listed out. Mm-hmm. I don't like change. <laughs> <laughs> One of the big ones that's in there that's for, for combat is you can now break up your moves. Before in the other editions, you could move a certain distance and attack or attack and move a certain distance. Mm-hmm. One of the new changes is breaking up your move. You can, say, move 10 feet, attack, and move the other 20 feet of your movement. A drive-by. So you can actually break, (laughs) and you can do, if you have a a move of 30, walk 10 feet, and then dash for the rest of your move. So you can break it up. Uh, Walking and moving fast is overrated. (laughs) Yes, I must understand with your short feet. Also, there's no longer a shift. So, uh... They now have what they call disengage. So instead of taking, you get a move and an action, and occasionally a free action. Well, now it's disengage is that will be your action, and then you can move your normal speed away without incurring a opportunity attack. Yay! Yeah. Opportunity attacks have been changed for for the the bow users and wizards out there. You'll enjoy that. You can't cast a spell and get hit for it every time. You're just awesome. at a disadvantage if you're using a ranged weapon and someone's adjacent to you. They get advantage on their attack on you. You're at a disadvantage after whoever you're shooting or casting a spell on. So it's no longer you cast a spell, you get hit in the face. Now I don't get my staff shoved through my, uh, my ah. spine, which is, which is going to be helpful. And also, uh, the new rules is if you're going to be taking half cover, you get plus two to your AC or, your, or your, any deck saves. Saves are usually to avoid traps and things like that or some spells. If you take three quarters cover, you're plus five to AC and deck save, and total cover, you can't be seen, so you can't be hit. Also, we've got, there's some, your, each of your characters has some different advanced moves that you can do. It'll be on your character sheet on the bottom left-hand side and the center. You mean our features and traits? It'll be just under the... Uh, Attacks and spellcasting? Yeah, it'll be in the features oh. and traits. Go ahead and take a moment to check those out. Alrighty. And one nice thing is they are going back to the concept of hit dice. So when you guys look at your hit points, 
you'll notice it's got your hit dice listed at the very bottom. So most of you have a hit point maximum in the center box. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom of those boxes, you'll see hit dice, and it gives you a 1D something. So at a long or short rest, you can heal your hit dice back but you can only deal, heal your maximum hit dice pool in one day. So at third level, you'll be a 3D whatever. So you can basically heal three of those dice rolls during a, a long or short break. And you hope you roll well. And you yeah, really always. hope you roll well. You'd hate to have 3D8 and you roll you once on each one. <laughs> yeah, you got three hit points back. Woohoo! That was a short rest. <laughs> I had tea. <laughs> and when it comes to, to knocking a creature out, I you can basically I decide that when you're you, when you're attacking them, you can say, it, you know, I don't want to kill him if it drops him to zero hit points now. So if you say before you attack that you're not wanting to kill, if you drop him to zero, they're being really knocked out, incapacitated, not skewered. Of course, we're kill. So if you want, so if you want to be, if you want to be boring. <laughs> we will not kill them. No, no, that's in case we want to keep the sucker If you want to be on the chaotic, neutral, or good right. team, go I'm up. A, I'm a shoot first, so, uh, ask questions quick later question kind of for you. The way domain spells work, are they additional spells to my... It's spells additional to spells, yeah. Got it. Yeah, for like healers that have the domains, you, each, each cleric can pull from a different type of domain power, but it's yeah. pretty much spells you always have prepared. I don't have. And just like for wizards, each time you take a long break, you can change your prepared spells if you have more spells than, than on your list. Yeah. Lucky for me, I have the exact number. Big thing I really like is when it comes to casters, you now have some pretty powerful cantrips like wizards with their Ray of Frost, Shocking Grasp, and Light can be cast at will. So there's no limitation to it. So it's pretty much just like in 4th edition, the at-will spells, it doesn't count for daily uses. 1d8. For clerics, you've got Sacred Flame and Thaumaturgy which are, and Guidance, which are some really good powers you can use constantly. And then you, of course, have your usual limitation on casting for how many good wallopy spells that you can use. Is that the technical term, wallopy? Wallopy is the technical term. <laughs> like uh, burning hands, like Xander noticed, which does a 15-foot cone and does 3d6 to anything in it's there. It's quite that a wallopy. Well, Half damage if they saved, so they're still Ooh. getting hit regardless. It's sort of like encounter powers in 4th edition, and where even if they, 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 they don't get hit, they're still taking That's at level 1, <laughs> baby. <laughs> And just remind me if you guys play up to your personal traits, ideals, bonds, and flaws so you can get inspiration, which you can then use to get advantage on a roll of your choice or to negate disadvantage in a bad situation. Any questions? I'm sure they will arise as we play. Yeah, because I, I don't know about the rest of you. I it's haven't played D&D in a while. So long, long Other while. games, yes. but <laughs> Yes, we have not played D&D. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hopefully, since, since of the games. incident. Two years since <laughs> the incident. Oh yeah. dear, we thought we were going to talk about the incident. It's, it's I think, like, I think they must never be spoken. I think the restraining order is off. <laughs> <laughs> you can touch your dice again. <laughs> hey, to be fair, to be fair, they re they rebuilt the orphanage. That's <laughs> <laughs> so we've heard. You can always get more of them. I'll spread that over there. Or make your own. <laughs> oh. Now you've all depressed um, <laughs> I was taking that joke in a funny place and you just ruined it. Yeah, yeah, that joke so touched funny. someone You're in that. their funny place. Yeah. <laughs> right. So pretty much you guys have been following the plan that you were given. And uh, Gundren basically took off that morning with his bodyguard on horseback while you guys were waiting at the livery for the, the cargo to be loaded up in the wagon. There is plenty of room in the wagon one or two of you are going to have to drive the wagon. Sorry. And someone did not silence their phone. <laughs> shame! Uh, you fall into shame. a trap! A magic death. pigeon arrives. <laughs> what is it? Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head over. What's the? What animals do we have? Over? I do You have two oxen. I'm going to check out the oxen. Rogue. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, little beast. A rogue. Has the phone on my hand I'm going to make an animal. <laughs> She's awesome. Ninja. So how does that work? Animal handling. Uh, so you've got... Um, plus three. Yep, so you're plus three, so roll a d d20. You're going to spook our rides. Are you trying to, to make them like yeah, you? Exactly. Okay. 
15 plus 3. Oh, yeah, these oxen are nuzzling up against you. You you rub their, their, their chin just right, and they're, they're, they're loving the smell of you. Uh, it's, all about, it's all about how to touch them. <laughs> I'm not going to make a joke. You said we need more than one to drive? One or two people can be in the I can drive. drive. I can drive, too. I, I have a town for a vehicle cool. and my okay. proficiencies. Okay. Land vehicles, like. My car shut. <laughs> okay. Even though I worked so, on the docks, I can't do so, shit. So, <laughs> what's in the wagon? The the wagon is loaded Stop. with, from what you can see, a dozen packs uh, sacks of flour, yeah. several casks <laughs> of salted pork, Ooh. two two kegs of ale, Ooh. assorted oh. shovels, picks, some some crowbars, and a few lanterns and uh, a small barrel of oil. <laughs> Oil, you say? <laughs> Interesting. Is, is the is the wagon covered in some cloth-like fabric it, it to be does, torn into shreds and stuck into bodies? <laughs> <laughs> it does have some it's canvas covering the back half of the, the the wagon. There is plenty enough room for everyone to be in the the rest of the group to be in the back of the wagon, Wait, except for the servants. On on the back of the wagon. On the back of the she wagon. Is a so you board. have your own horse. I, lady, 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 lady have I, will, I will give up my seat to you, lady. Well, perhaps you could speak with these animals and explain to them that I shall be directing them in their directions, <laughs> and you will be nuzzling with them some more while I sit. Oh, oh I believe that Vita has my cushion for the bench. <laughs> and and Vita, one of your servants, comes over and puts a velvet cushion on the bench for you. Uh. Well, I felt that I've been polite and respectful. Thank you. That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you guys have left the city of Neverwinter, you guys are heading out. Uh, clearly your friend was excited getting out of town with, with his something big he needed to work on. And as you guys have spent the last few days following the high road south from Neverwinter, you just recently veered east along the Tribor Trail, following the sign that said to turn for Vandelver. You've encountered no trouble so far, but the territory is very dangerous, and you do know from reputation that bandits and outlaws have been known to lurk along the area. Uh, anything could be hiding in these trees makes me nervous. What? So uh, while you're going on this long trip, what are you, how are you introducing each other? What are you telling each other about each other on this, this long overland trip? Well, since uh, I've spent so long in a temple, I don't really know how to ha deal with people. No. <laughs> really? So I'm, uh, I'm not going to introduce myself. If anyone asks, I will, but I'm just going to be reading. Hey, what's your name? Huh? Huh? What's your name? Oh, oh, hello. Uh, you. Oh, I I'm Salter. What was that? Salter. Salter. Salter of the earth? What? <laughs> I'm Salted. Salted. Oh, you're a sailor! <laughs> yes, I yes, I am. <laughs> Ahoy, matey! <laughs> I find your, I the find name's your, Tilda. Hi! Hi! I find your antics quite amusing. <laughs> antics? What's the name? I also find it that our uh, GM is fanning. Call him, call him. Uh, uh, yeah. Hi! Hi, I'm Tilda! Uh, how do you do, Miss... Tilda Wimblewick! Miss Wimblewick, it's delightful yes. to make your acquaintance. You're pretty. What? Thank you. <laughs> I pretty cool did... I went to college this morning, <laughs> and you are um, a very charming creature. And Hi, thank you for noticing. You're quite welcome. I'm so delighted you've joined us on this adventure. I wouldn't be anywhere else. Oh, uh, What? <laughs> <laughs> Let me assemble that remark. <laughs> oh, I mean, I... I, I <laughs> Stop, maybe. Why are we talking of prison? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why are we talking Such about prison? Such an unknowledgeable un un place of uh, <laughs> Excuse me? I don't believe we need to speak about prison. None of us here, certainly, none of us are going to prison. Of course prison. not. We're all very law-abiding folk here. Uh, and, absolutely. Yes, That's you right. just ask my aunt. As long as the laws follow. Yes, we're going to get visiting her. path of knowledge. I am destined for greater things. 
And and you are, madam. I am Galen the Gallant. The Gallant. Yeah. Did you give yourself that, or actually, that part was given to me? But it is my destiny to be a hero. Oh, oh. destinies. So we are. Sometimes. We are going to triumph in whatever we do. So I must ask, does your, I have a manifest destiny? I must ask, is uh, d- does your destiny follow knowledge or fly in the face of it? I fly <laughs> in the face of knowledge, of course. <laughs> this I don't deny. Ah! This <laughs> is my destiny. That would make sen- uh, sense saying how you pronounced your title. <laughs> so, so, Miss the Gallant, <laughs> I just want to say that I'm delighted by the way you have taken these reins and gripped them so forcefully yet gently, and you seem to be leading us delightfully it on It must trail. be your destiny. <laughs> we have great things in front of us, and like I'm taking that, you all with like me. Like that bull. <laughs> Well, tally I didn't know it was right. <laughs> tally, tally. Okay, so you guys tally, travel tally, along tally, and uh, just randomly as you're wait, traveling. Wait, who are you? Me? Oh, he's I'm a dwarf. Sorry. Well, I, I get that. I, I thought he was Gunderson. the ox hand. Gunderson, how do you do? Ah, uh, Rain uh, Gunderson. Uh, hi, hi, I'm Tilda. Hi. Oh, hello, Mr. Bess. Oh, hey, I'm, gonna use I'm not that little. Else is oh, I, I did it. Now I cast no aspersions on yourselves. That's right. Oh, Mr. Thrain, it's a delight. I, I appreciated oh, your you handling of the oxen. I hope that's I mean, it's comfortable. Oh, it's very it's delightfully. I don't you think the gold fringe adds well, to the Well, you know, not mesh. everybody has a pillow to real sit on. Well, it's not I'm a hero for the dead. Dead. I'm a hero for the common folk. The common folk. But every common folk with their destinies. <laughs> and their that's right. Well, I like the common folk. I've yes. spoken to them before. <laughs> they make good service. <laughs> well, yeah, they, we'll do with them. They're delightful in their ways of doing things. Like salted farming. the earth. Salted! <laughs> Are you coming? I believe from? his name is Salten. Salten. Salten? Salten. Ahoy, matey! Salten. Sol- solitary? <laughs> I, I, I will talk. It is uh, actually uh, a... Of, uh, it's an uh, elven name, I would understand if it's uh, trouble pronouncing. Well, I feel it's too early in the day to begin drinking. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dwarf. I know. No, no, it's not too early to begin drinking. Your, your cousin wouldn't mind if someone tapped a little of the not. ale out of that keg. I will do that. <laughs> okay, so as you guys have been traveling, good things are going. All of a sudden, somewhere in the conversation, you're having to kill time. Somebody brings up uh, how you know your dwarf patron gun... Gundren Rockseeker. So, uh, basically, how do you guys know him? Hey, what happens in the mind stays in the mind. It's none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> I do that dwarf one. How can you tell? Oh, I thought you all had the Oh, okay. <laughs> well, gross. Mr. Uh, Stonecutter? Rockseeker. Rock seeker, excuse me. We're the stone cutters. Why is this not the same? We're not close. We're not on OK Cube. I see Cube. This picture was totally different. I ran into Mr. Rock seeker down at the docks in Neverwinter, and he told me he was of an adventure that was happening uh, east of Neverwinter, and that's my. I'm. What? South. south. Oh, south of Neverwinter. You have the map. Yes. <laughs> I do she know. has the map and she doesn't know it's that. <laughs> <laughs> so, it wouldn't surprise me. If anything that gets me out of Neverwinter and closer to my destiny, I was up for. So what is here your, I am. What is your aversion to Neverwinter? It's not my home. And, and if you don't know directions, how do you know where your destiny is? Could it your destiny be? I, I believe, I believe fate. I harder. just follow my fates. Oh, Fake I'm just going is, home. Fake God just uh, home. I want to visit my aunt. Oh. And he he was going Are this way, so I thought I'd, you know, join Hank, make, make a little money on my way here, you know. I mean, I can't I, mean, I can't turn that down. Are you, uh, Plus, a, uh, meet all you nice folks. But then I get to see my dear, uh, dear Aunt Quillen Alter Me. Just, just it's like, I love that. that. She's, oh. she's just the most wonderful person. You'll have to meet her when you come. I as well. We'll do tea. Perhaps she could join oh, us. Likely. Uh, for a, a light brunch oh, or lunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have yeah. definitely enjoy a good knowledge. meal, so by all means. Oh, yes. Second breakfast? 
<laughs> well, Mr. Mr. Rock Seeker was ever so kind as to discuss with me the possibilities of a little development in our um, location, and of course, I wish to to help this community thrive once more. I've already sent some people ahead there settling Hard. weird enough they <laughs> all died a horrible death Hard, yeah. I believe they're farming <laughs> and growing things I don't ask questions I just send them forth with bags of seed <laughs> and a trowel <laughs> my aunt has a farm my man has a farming family yeah. yeah Oh, so maybe they know her or perhaps she's one of the people who are there helping to develop the community. Oh, it's a very nice farm. Very nice farm. Excellent. What does she grow? Oh, she grows yes. lots of things. I mean, uh, you know, um, we've got, uh, you know, definitely pumpkins. We like the pumpkins, you know, and uh, lots of different other types of vegetables. And, oh, so lots and of she, things that will make good alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact. <laughs> so some of that. Barley. Oh, yes. Barley, yeah. Barley, wheat, rye. <laughs> oh, and she's got bees. Bees? Honey. Yes, honey. Are bees good things? I always oh, thought yeah. they were annoying. You have to got you. to try her honey biscuits. Oh, my God. They are so good. Oh, I, I can't will uh, write that them. down somewhere. I must try uh, your aunt's honey biscuits. No, oh. stop. <laughs> well, I'm very keen on honey. Mm-hmm. And, and she's got these... These honey oat loaves that she makes, oh, they are so good with butter for. Oh my god! And she's and the cheese. Oh my god, the cheese! Oh. <laughs> she puts cheese on honey biscuits. Oh, I can't wait to get home. I haven't seen her in a while. How do you know? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I've well, I I was actually uh, look looking, you know, gathering information about this uh this way on the docks. The lost mine. I think you were researching it for him, were you not? Well, I, I was actually researching the area since I have some place to be kind of uh, near this near this path, and I, I stumbled upon um, well, yeah, uh, something he was, uh, yeah, and he was talking about a discovery which the quite interested mine. me. I, I needed uh, to know about it since, well, knowledge. Uh, I, I do mate. follow. It's always to knowledge, know. to know. and uh, so I. Talk to him. He, he's quite a nice fellow. Uh, does your story have any sort of ending? <laughs> um, well, it actually it actually does. I was um, I well, that is pretty much the ending. Other no, no, than no, no, the part no. where I'm sitting next to a rude dwarf. Well, remember, he's not good with people. <laughs> you know, I have a co- elf. <laughs> I have a cousin who's a bard. You might want to, you know. Get, we get with them. Thank you. Know, you. And bards. what do you have against elves? Oh, not a thing. But elves are not humans. And so <laughs> humans yeah. being people. You should speak with um, this delightful dwarf. He's very polite. <laughs> <laughs> He seems to know how to speak with people and oxen. <laughs> <laughs> that was so racist, I can't say anything. <laughs> You're pointy at the end of blushing at this time. Uh, <laughs> she's a species. <laughs> oh, wow. I, but yeah, she's wearing everything in the I, wagon. I, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I knew him when we were both, we were, we were both young beards in the hills. I haven't seen him in decades. These wild stories of this mine or that mine. Hopefully this one will pan out. <laughs> pan mine. <laughs> well, that one was for you. <laughs> <laughs> pan, pan, pretty <pan>, roll. <laughs> I'm going to continue to go back to Rico. <laughs> I should go away if I read <clears throat> No, 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 I won't. <laughs> Oh, it is not you. Uh, but to read it. <laughs> oh, it, it's a book uh, I uh, wrote. You you wrote the book? Uh, yeah. It's just uh, some of my knowledge. Is it a romance? That I, like, uh, oh, no, you're a pirate! Yeah, it's a pirate high seas adventure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Well, You can read it to us? Uh, no, it's going to be a long trip. No, I will not read it. <laughs> oh, Miss Mimble, 
Watch Wimblewick. <laughs> 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 Miss Wimblewick. You can call me Tilda. <laughs> Miss Wimblewick, that is a delightful <laughs> idea. We should have a sing song. How about <laughs> this? <laughs> we <laughs> are riding along. I'm sure you have. I'm going to you have a wall book wall somewhere I'm that I'm reading the wall. Be her own story. That's I'm sure you have a book somewhere that uh. You know, make Take big it. words like uh, then trip you up, and I, I'll help you read it, or or you, because you always have servants to read it. Excuse me, are you saying that I can't read that? No, of course then not. Then an encounter happened That's before it. they killed each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then about Just half a day since you got into the Tribor Trail, as you come around a bend, all of a sudden you spot two dead horses sprawled up ahead on the road, about 50 feet ahead of you blocking the path. Each has several black feather flinched arrows sticking out of it. Well, and then in this area, you notice that the woods press ominously close to the trail here, with a steep embankment and dense thickets on either side. How wow. big are the arrows? I mean, are or they? You have to get close to it. I'm not a physic, but uh, I wouldn't hazard a guess that that was natural causes. <laughs> Your healing skills tell you it is yes. probably not natural causes. Yeah. I shall put my hand on the shoulder of Galen the gallant next to me <laughs> and give her a penetrating stare so that we may share the knowledge of fighters everywhere. <laughs> as I look back, as she yes, sends I'm you on it. As she sends you into battle. I'm going to hop off the car. And go. That's okay. it's like going to investigate. So, so who's going to go to investigate and who's going to well, stay? Um, I'm hopping off. I have a question. I'm, I'm, I'm going off to investigate. It, may chance. it says it can't carry anything more than 10 feet, but you'd think it could push something. It could knock something lightweight over, but not something heavy. Okay. Darn it. I'm going to stay in the cart and kind of keep my eyes. Of course. Out. Uh, I, I, need, I need to know uh, knowledge, so well, I will investigate. So. Okay. So the cart uh, is back here about 50 and feet. You guys I'll benefit from uh, getting results. I can move the box in. Okay. So uh, it, are you guys all going to walk together, or is it going to be in order as you're walking down the road? Well, I simply can't allow these delightful people to put themselves in harm's way without my being there to try in some simple way to defend and protect them. So I she just will, has to be first. <laughs> I will happily throw myself to the fore with my axe, Matilda. I didn't know. And I, I will happily I, let herself I didn't throw know. herself. <laughs> Tilda. No, no. no. Matilda. No, the, Tilda. The axe is Matilda. She had her. Oh! She <laughs> had her axe! <laughs> Why did it still send your axe's name, Matilda? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. This will be fun. <laughs> who, who's gonna, who's gonna, gonna to come ask, uh, after her or flank her? Ask her. I, I, I will go after her. I'm going already forward. So okay. I guess so you guys will flank. Too. Are you yeah. flanking together? <laughs> yes, we'll <laughs> flank, and I have my bow ready. So, you know, because obviously there's some sort of... Okay. I will let these... Nefarious two, I, acts are afoot. And I will let these two people throw themselves in front I'll of me. I'll follow up, yes, I'll, I'll okay. Okay. So you got to flank each other or yeah, go we'll and... we'll flank each other. Okay. <clears throat> this situation is highly suspicious. And you're going to stay in the cart guard? Yep. <laughs> She's going to guard that oil. <laughs> <laughs> And the flower. Don't forget the flower. Now, okay. Oh, actually, flower, that is a good thing. You, um, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> been thinking, this is most likely a trap. It's shifty. Of course oh, it's shifty. a trap. <laughs> it's onward. Shifty. Yes, your destiny. And uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> before they're going forward, what's your passive perception? You know, there are most likely roads that can take us around this. Can we roll it? I've got to find it. Uh, no, no. Oh. Are, if you're going to actively do it, yes. Okay. If you if you're not going to actively oh. look, so what do we roll? Search for danger. It, it would be your perception, which is under wisdom. It's on your so. Skills. Is it the plus? If, or your passive? Which if one? perception gives oh, you, is it the plus if, three or what? Yeah. Kind of? Well, the plus three would be if you're actively looking. I'm actively looking. Okay. So you roll. Do you roll wisdom? Let's say you wisdom gives you plus one. Perception plus three. Do you get a plus it four? It should be added together 20. there. I got a twenty-three. Oh, just roll okay, so a yeah. twenty-sided die and add a three to it. Okay. Whatever you get. The wizard will roll a one for perception because his I, head is oh, in the floor. Oh, I noticed nothing. Sweet. Wait, what? Twenty-three. I got twenty-three. Actually, two. Minutes. I noticed nothing. Oh no! You noticed that bird. <laughs> no, I noticed <laughs> squirrel. 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 Did I write so, that? No, no, so as, as you guys are approaching the animals, Gary, you know that there's something in both sides of the bushes. 
Everyone else seems oblivious to it. Hey, I had a twenty-two. Are you sure? Missed it by one. I'm not oh, you're kidding. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna nudge. Do you, do, this ink stain, does it look like, <laughs> not casual it, look like it was intent? Him, so. Does this ink stain look like it was intentional? I need to. Does this ink. Because it, 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 it looks it looks intentional, but I don't remember. Something waits for us in the bushes, my friends. Okay, everybody roll initiative. Including me? Yes, including you. Tell me. You are <laughs> Is that just a d20? Yeah. That's just a d20 or and, and your plus. If you have a bonus, it should be in the... Or a negative. Or a negative. Oh, okay, it's 15. 15. Oh, oh my god. god. 19. Oh. Two. Oh. Speedy dwarf. I got a 9. 15. Well, you knew it was coming. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. We're very dangerous. We're the fast <laughs> ones. Over short I mean, distances. He's like, he's like the car one, but we're the fast ones. <laughs> I got a nine. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm slow. slow. What did you get? I got a 14. But diligence. Carrie, <laughs> what did you get? Nine. Carrie, 19. 15. Two! <laughs> I don't feel so bad. <laughs> See, well, you're more probably more armored than I am, so you're a little slower. Whereas, you know, my leather armor, I'm a little more nimble. A little more agile. I'm in the so chain, man. It's very yeah. shiny. Oh, what's the range on your shirt? Well, you're 50 feet away See, that, that's what happens here. Yep. You know, here we are, the fighters. Uh, and, you yes. know. It's all right. Because you've got my shoulder. I've got your right shoulder. Right. We're right. ready to go. You know it. I got my long no, sword, too, but I got my bow out. All right. That's your sneak attack. Yeah. All right. Three right there. I could do those for me. 80 feet. So I can. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I do. I do. I do pity the fool that doesn't have intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's totally overrated that intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're, you. you're that kind of noble. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's yes. got to be that one. The charming kind. I don't know what you're talking about. So, are you sure that this ink stain wasn't intentional? Because it, it looks. It's intentional. <laughs> No, I did not. Yes, I, of course, I heard it, but I need to know this because this is. Everybody doesn't care. <laughs> What's a little death? You're chaotic neutral. I'm, I'm curious. I'm is, not chaotic neutral. I'm curious. Is, neutral. Is, is he wearing a red shirt? Neutral. Oh. I'm chaotic. Good. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is the surprise round for those who didn't have a 23 or higher. Okay. So, <laughs> your turn comes first. Okay. So, what do nice. do? You, do? You, you sense there's danger in the bushes. Uh, okay. I will. Uh, you don't know what, exactly what it is for sure, but you definitely sense danger. Yeah, yeah so I. I and and really looking at the horses with the arrows pointing, yeah. that the fletchings are pointing towards the bushes, you're sensing a pattern. Uh, he, he guides the footsteps of. Travelers guide my friends these days, and that has to be less. Okay. So, everybody, so three targets. So, four of you. Uh, so, three of you. Uh, three, wow, I don't need it. for combat. The three of you. Get, Racist. Get uh, whatever within the next minute. Yeah. Um, you can roll one and four and add it to an attack or save. I was just being intellectually nice. superior to you. Now you guys don't help me during combat. So you Cut. mumble a prayer and a warning to your friends. <laughs> okay. Now I'm for everything. And pretty much a few moments after that, you see a... You okay? Yeah, right. Carpal tunnel from reading books too much? <laughs> it is. Rolls are tricky. All of a sudden, a pair of arrows come fleeing out of the tree line, one on each side. Oh my god! The first arrow is going to go after the mighty fighter with the mighty axe. Oh, the large target? <laughs> the meat shield. Whack! <laughs> and the arrow comes shooting out with a measly six landing at your feet, I'm guessing. <laughs> so it has to beat her AC, is that how yep. it works? Got it. And okay. it was a six, so it lands at your foot. This <laughs> arrow thuds about four inches from your foot. And you see this black fletched arrow just twing. Oh, dear. Whereas the second one goes flinging out with your partner that you're flanking. Does a 15 beat your AC? Yes. Arrow thuds into your shoulder. 
You got I have armor 14. Yay, me too. Yeah. Doing five points of damage. <laughs> Tanks. Okay, <laughs> so now we're starting back at the top of the order of initiative. Thrain, your warning and blessing. Yep, ready to go. And then I'll number the axe and shield and charge. Straight towards the where the armor came from. Okay. Who's your god? Uh, you chose right? the wrong god. That just like that. Who was your god? The wrong god. It's a secret now. Yeah. It's a private Because oh, so, usually they private. yell the. And and very okay, I so, so you have a feeling that if you run 20 feet and push it this way, you might be able to spot them since you had this great idea where they are. Okay, so you're running out there, and as soon as you stomp through the thickets, it's funny because from your guys' perspective, you just see the door disappears just through some bushes. And you you look there, and you see a goblin reaching back, pulling another arrow out of his quiver, uh, and another goblin with him with a, sh- with a scimitar and a shield standing next to him, ready to defend him. Uh, who's ever closest? I'm going for The me. goblin with the, the sword and Sword and board, shield. baby. That's yeah. Right. yeah. So. That's how the... That's how and, and as soon as you come bursting through that's the bushes, right. he gives you this... That's, that's how he goes. <laughs> Roll a d6, roll a d6. Nah, 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 nah. Vile things. <laughs> oh my oh god! god. Oh. Natural 20! No, no, natural 20! What happens with the 20? Okay. Natural 20. <laughs> You guys, so, my steps also natural 20 hand. always hits. I was saying, we'll see that that's clarified. the old of natural 20. Yep, a natural 20 always hits. Always hits. Always hits. <laughs> always hits. <laughs> For those unclear of what's going on. Because you can never say that enough. That it always hits. I can understand it'd be confusing. Does it do it double damage automatically, or does it just give extra dice? What's the rule with the name? He did uh, indeed roll a <laughs> what? Do I have my strength to damage, or is it just the weapon? Thank you. Uh, it should be on the weapon already. It says attack yeah. bonus. Tip your waitress. Tip your tavern maids. We'll be here. So I think it already has your strength in, in, in the attack bonus? But probably uh, not. I don't oh, know what this it's, is. It should already be calculated in the damage for it. Okay, so it says 1d8 plus 2 bludgeon. Yeah. Okay, so 1d8 plus 2. Okay, there you go. Bludgeon that bitch. 4, 5, 6, 7. Lump. Kill him in the face. Kill him Okay, and on a crit, when you score a critical hit, you get an extra. You get to roll extra dice for the attacks damage against the target. Cool. Kill roll him. all of the attacks damage twice, and then add them together. Kill him so hard, and then add any relevant modifiers okay. that you have. Kill okay. him so hard that so his mama dies. Yeah. And, and so if your dagger does one d four, it does two d four plus the bonus. Got it. Kill him so hard, then his mama dies, and then it's sad because his mama didn't do anything. Anything wrong? And I'm cried. <laughs> it's a goblin. She did four, wrong. <laughs> six, seven, eight. Eight total points. Eight points. No, don't you add the two twice? No, once. No, oh. you just add it once after you, you double. You double your dice pool basically. Because you don't really hit him twice. Okay, and you hit, hit him for how much? Eight. He just gives out a scream. <laughs> As you just come through and just crush the skull into the chest cavity, and it falls down dead, and the archer just looking to him, he's kind of shaking. Okay. That would be the time to run. <laughs> oh, I love to skull crusher. Solitude. Okay, so there's another side, right? There's another side. There's a side without my convenient pants? Okay. So you said it's 20 feet. <laughs> it's, you, the the, the general area you believe yeah. is 20 feet because yes, since the bows, the arrow shot out, out of the bushes, okay. it's keeping away the area. Like half that, so 10. Okay. And then I'm burning hands. Okay, <laughs> so you're walking, you walking over here. <laughs> Only you can start right. the fire. Hey, hey. You don't have to remove your sandals. They are stopping knowledge. They will burn as long as they have the forest. That's right. It's the light of knowledge. I know. It'll be very knowledgey. <laughs> He's going, maybe to call on them. And he smote their enemies. And oh, did they flee. And there was much rejoicing. And then did the party realize that they were in a forest fire. fire. <laughs> and okay. then the hunters did burn. So go ahead and Wait, cast what? your spell. Wait, right. so, 
<laughs> How oxen feel about firing trees? Well, thankfully the, the cart's fifty feet back, and he moved forward about fifteen, so that they're a good distance away, and yeah. they're contentedly yeah, munching fine. on the grass. Oh, no. good. And you've got them under control. Okay. Right? Oh yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> so, uh, I'm guessing uh-huh. I roll. Well, she comes up to their intelligence. Or okay. Uh, does it? Uh, All our stuff is it. It. The oxen are fine. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't does say how to cast it. It says what the damage is. Oh, you roll a... I bet you you roll something. You have to hit? Probably. <laughs> no, they make an AC save. Yeah, it's an area effect. Yeah, it looks like you fire it, and they have to make a deck save to save versus... Yeah, because it's magic. It's, yeah. not, it's not like... Okay. So do I roll just damage? I'm going to get you some So uh, you would normally roll your concentration, but I'll just give it to you since you're just leisurely walking up there and casting. Well, my concentration? Well, that is uh, Here, let me see your sheet. Oh, concentration plus two. Okay. Let's see. So just roll damage. So a D tw- uh, we'll roll a d20 for your concentration check. Plus two, plus two. Five. Um, can I spend... You, I will let you... Is the point of legend to roll another... Oh, wrong game. Yep. <laughs> So you roll 2d20, and you take the higher of the two. You 19. easily, you're Woo-hoo! like, reading your book, you fold the book, put it under your armpit, you stick both your hands out in a wide arcing gesture, and you just send a 15-foot cone of flame swapping off into the tree line. A clever mage would have his book. Six points of damage. So you just let it drop. Six points of damage. Yes. Okay, and you it's can a have that save. Idea. I'll give that idea to you. What's I recommend it highly. Dragon. A good mage would have the book attached to a string on their belt, so you could just drop the book, cast the spell, and boom. Okay, it's your your flames go washing like out into the, the thickets, in the library, right? and you just yeah. see There's popping there. and crackling as the, the greenery starts cooking, and you hear two dual screams just go. <laughs> To all, those, to all those listening, I just killed d- two goblins with one attack. Oh, you, you still hear them screaming in the they're fire. Not they're not dead, but they're screaming because they're on then fire. Then they're probably <laughs> coming for <laughs> uh, it was a Okay, okay in my defense, I if I took six long. damage as a goblin, I would not want to fight more. A little premature evisceration? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So nimble, you're at the wagon. Do I see any goblins? You're you you have an idea. <laughs> They're behind cover still, so you could shoot it. Oh, I'm gonna shoot. Wait, wait, didn't didn't my fire burn? I'm gonna shoot that's, them. That's, that's, okay, it's true. His flames. <laughs> have, hey, shit! I just did six, you. I just did six damage to two goblins. The burning soot gets into our lady's sinuses and causes a. Demure sneeze. <laughs> me. So and his flames have washed, we'll say, half the cover away, revealing that there's a oh, goblin yes. with a scimitar and shield right. dancing in flames Gold burning, right. oh. and a goblin with a bow whose bowstring just burned in the flames. Oh, with a few the... of his arrows in his quiver catching fire as well. <laughs> um, I'll do the dancing one. The one that's dancing in flames? Yes. Okay. Dancing in the moonlight, no. No, no, no. Disco, Disco Inferno. Inferno! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm okay. getting stereo. <laughs> so we are okay, twins. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, so Man, close. Don't forget, you get to roll yeah. a D. Sorry, if, if, sorry. The blessing is still upon you. Don't forget your D four. Oh, I'll add it to the damage. I, I will give That's you to attack two. or saves. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then so I'm gonna. You can add it to the damage. Now remember. Have a dancing in the moonlight. <laughs> you got a six. <laughs> and I just shoot wildly. <laughs> Arrow goes flinging off into a bush that's catching fire. Hits the bush squarely, shaking it, throwing a little slit and flame in the air. I killed that bush! <laughs> As the arrow catches fire and just poof <laughs> into ash. I understand. I understand. That was almost more my, awesome than my, actually killing something. <laughs> I understand. And now it is the gallant's turn. My magnificence uh, must have caught in your eyes. You couldn't see anything. Can I you can, oh, you can definitely you see can, them now. <laughs> you can see the ones that are in the burning area, but there is fire catching in that area now. Okay, well, we... Uh, well, let's kill them. There, so you do see. you do know where he ran off into the bushes? There's there's yeah, but I can't I can't I fire where fire he is part. because if I do that, I create him. Be True, because they are under cover. It's likely that I just fly in panic. So, so I'm going to shoot at the ones I can see. Okay. 
So the the one whose bow just burned up, or the one that's got the sword and shield? That's damn The sword and shield. Okay. Um. Okay. So you're gonna show the here. halfling how to shoot an arrow. Yeah. Really. Okay. Wait. I've got to no. figure out how to shoot myself. Apparently. Don't be sad. My magnificence Where got caught in your my... eyes. Oh, there it is. I got blinded by the my... light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You saw a light at the end of the forest. That light just okay. happened to be the cleansing fire. Oh, knowledge. I was choking on the salt. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Oh, huh. natural twenty! Oh, Twenty-seven. <laughs> like I pierced your, his shield. Baby. Your arrow <laughs> goes through his shield, through his chest, and just pegs him to a burn Around tree. A <laughs> to the as, as the blood seeps down and sizzles, it kind of puts the fire out a little. It, it does. It puts a little See? circle Plus, out the around. Smell of burning goblin. It's ever so charming. <laughs> you can never get enough of that. To those oh, listening, so. she just rolled a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been confusing because we screamed. <laughs> there were screams of joy <laughs> and screams of agony. <laughs> Only the goblins. Hey, my beautiful, and my ugly, wicked. Oh my god, that bush! I took like years groundskeeping it. Okay. It's really soft. So. Why are you guys so mean? I'm not even in the battle. The, the goblin archer next to Thrain. <laughs> he's standing there with his bow and he was thinking of shooting you <laughs> until he heard the death screams of his friends and the whoosh of flames. <laughs> and. He kind of just drops his bow and goes, Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Kill him. Uh, why is, Let why your is, anger take over why you, is young Troy. Padawan. <laughs> <laughs> if I strike him down, I'll be mildly uh, more powerful. <laughs> there can only be one. Tell me, are you uh, disturbing cleric to a dark guy? Uh, <laughs> okay, and as, as you're, you're milling about what to do, the goblin the archer that was on flames just I'm starts wildly you, running into the trail right into your face. Oh. 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 He he's he's running he right at you and he's going... Ah! He's not coming to attack, he's coming because... These is scalps more, yeah. on his shoulder pads are burning on this fire. This is more euthanasia than is, Yeah, so you're not doing him a service by putting him out of his misery. Well, of course, I mean, I'm, I'm a kind <laughs> I will attempt to end yeah. this poor goblin's miserable this existence. Lower life for She's so magnanimous. And I will, um, Another big word. 17. They are unintelligent creatures. <laughs> 17 to hit. 17 will definitely hit. Um, and uh, see, that's math. That's 11. You swing, and Fleming head is separated from soul, smoldering torso. It hits the ground. <laughs> Goodbye, poor soul. <laughs> <laughs> May your gods welcome you with open oh, arms and a bucket of water. <laughs> 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 and pretty much at that exact point when she says that, Thrain... Head goes bouncing into the bushes where you are and lands at the <laughs> goblin's side. It probably made a very good choice surrendering there, boy. I'll, I'll, I'll collar him and lead him out by the scruff of his collar. Okay. He, he, Don't beat me. I, I surrender. You take prisoners, I've been told. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I, I just, I just wanted to know knowledge. Okay. So, uh, w- w- did you know we were coming on this path, or were you just preparing for anyone? Are you a bandit, or are you something more? I am a goblin. They were trying to eat the horses. Okay. Well, that's... Wait a minute. Who do the horses belong to? Where did they come from? Was there a cart? No. Were you waiting, you do? Were you waiting to kill us and take Perhaps our stuff, we give or just anyone's answer. person? <laughs> <laughs> We've been. <laughs> our our, our war chief said for us to stay and attack anyone who came down the trail after he captured the dwarf. The dwarf. It's Gundir. It's Gundir Stoneseeker. And by the way, I guess I mean, it. Rock seeker. Rock seeker, damn it. Okay. And, and you, now that you're taking a moment, you notice the two dead horses look eerily like the ones your friend and his bodyguard rode off this way ahead, ahead of you guys with. Oh, so they're fresh. No, they're they're They're, they're the horses. Day old. They're day old. Because he left the day before us. They've the ho- never had horse meat? Hello. <clears throat> oh. I'll write that down too. And, and, and as you see that the goblin goes, yeah. 
Horse meat is horrible. See? I'm told we'll have human flesh back in the game. Well, you're no. not here. Wait, 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 shh, wait. Are you, why are we listening to Wait, the are you talking <laughs> about <laughs> the crab <clears throat> Aye, the, the, the old human that was with the dwarf. We get to keep him. What cave are you talking about? The Kragma? Uh, uh, you know the Kragma? And as he opens his mouth, you notice his teeth for a goblin are very jagged and sharp. What do you know of this creature there? Oh, what do you know? Where is the Kragma? Since you did mention Kragma, would you like to roll a history? I already know about the Kragma. Do you know know about the Kragma? In my background, I know about the Kragma. What is this Kragma? Do you know that the Kragma tribe goblins sharpen their teeth? I do not know that. I know about the cave. Give me a quick history roll and you will know that. Okay, history. After all, you're reading them books in the gym. (laughs) Always with the reading. Yeah. (laughs) History. You know, he could be fletching. He could be you know, sharpening his sword. Okay. Yeah. Eighteen. This Woo-hoo. you you have a very super strong suspicion. I studied them for three knowledge years. Knowledge of dental hygiene, medieval I dental hygiene. Is I, I am. I am one of Akagma. Yes. Uh, and he kind of gives you this, this little <laughs> goblin teeth. You want to feel like I'm on this Akagma? I love how he's doing his hands. <laughs> now, do you know of a? Uh, Cragmark Castle. <laughs> Do you know of Cragmark Castle? That's the castle. We, we, we're not allowed in the castle. Wait a minute. Where is it? Hi. Only our leader knows what a castle is. Then where, where, where's your leader? <clears throat> He's at Cragmark Castle. I didn't realize goblins built castles. No, we don't really. They did the not. They, they stole this castle. They stole now, this castle. So. Your that makes more sense. master is the only one who knows where this castle is, yet he is the only one in this castle. It's awfully lonely. I'm confused. <laughs> Can you just take us to the cave? We know. We, know. we need to question. rescue Gundir. Which way does it go? We must rescue this. Gundir. Absolutely. Yes. We're gallant. We must. We also need to know about this castle. I suggest we take it with us. I, I, yes, but bind him and keep them silent. Well, is this castle before Fandolin, or is it after Fandolin? Because um, technically we do still have to deliver his stuff. But there's no point delivering his things without Tilda, him. without him being there. Okay. True. Do you, do you see, and I'll point to where two of his but compatriots are burning. He won't pay <laughs> us if he's not there. Uh, I point. Okay. We are going to yeah, take you with right. us, if you and I am a seeker of knowledge. If you do not give me knowledge, you will end up like your compatriots. I I know nothing. I only know the tail back to the kid. I'm gonna take my daggers. Ah, the, the short stick. Ah, ah, stop stop poking me, Stop poking! Man. Stop poking the prisoner! <laughs> ah. Stop! Answer. Which way? Which way? <clears throat> come on, come on, Which come way to us? The cave! No, we the cave! No, the I don't know any! Cave. I don't know where the cave is! Cave. 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 <laughs> and, and just as you like have seeping blood coming down his side, he he, he points Stop. off into the bushes that are burning and cindering out. Except and for the one I dropped blood all over. Except for the one that's pegged to the tree. And the bush that I murdered. <laughs> and, and you see what looks like a game trail that heads off into the bushes. That wow. obviously... May have hey, hey, give me, uh, give me a moment. Give it's, me. it's funny. Give I've been, stoicism you know, does you credit. I think the path of power. I, I have yes. been looking for knowledge my by interrogating okay. someone. So I'm gonna look at her wound there. So, <laughs> yeah. How many are outside the cave? Okay, okay. We I can, don't know. We can answer that without poking him. Without. without. So, uh, <clears throat> anyone good with survival? One second. One. Would that be under proficiencies? It's under your skills. It's a good is a strong word. Uh, I can, I can, I have a plus one, I could roll. Oh, Wanderer, bless, bless this tribe. I have a plus three in survival. I'll cast Cure Wounds. Perhaps you <laughs> would like to use your survival skill? And while the delightful Tilda and <laughs> this gentle elf <laughs> That's a 27, are right? doing their uh, uh, I, I, I have been called many you things. Me but I do believe I've just listened to you. He doesn't have anything but his focus on 
for not, healing me and I bringing me closer to my destiny. Uh, and we can rescue Gentle is not good here. Thrain is a charming you soul. Two. You can't have two. Oh, I can't have two. <laughs> now, it's not like fine. <laughs> while, while this all uh, this delightful action is occurring, mm-hmm. I okay, will take Charmantilla's hands in my hand. And I will give her a look. Where's my we don't totally. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> He's not nice. But he might be nice. We haven't really talked to him. He uh, was gonna kill us. Well, that is less than nice. That's <laughs> very important. I only shot an arrow into the dirt. Just because your aim, just because your aim was bad did not mean you didn't intend to. You shot his way of survival of roll thirteen. To, I shot in the dirt. Hey, to those listening to this podcast, trying to murder people is not nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's your lesson. See, oh. you just you just got something from listening to this. Well, some people are just I got survival roll thirteen. You notice that this trail looks like at least a dozen goblins have gone back and forth in this trail. Okay. And though, I, of course, inform the rest of them. Though I do agree with you, we should only torture him if he is okay. uh, not willing to give well, us I'm knowledge. Gonna, I'm going to take no. a couple minutes. You, are, the uh, oxen, you are denying them the knowledge that he did indeed try to kill you. In. Okay, uh-huh. so you're going to put him off the sides. Yeah, just rope him there. Which I yeah, understand. I mean, I'm an elf, here. not a person. Okay, does anyone look at the your horses or saddlebags closely? Yes, a sign of anger. You will notice that the saddlebags have been thoroughly looted. Dang. Of course. Nabbit. Um, what about the air um the arrow I shot? Is it retrievable or do I it, it's not on fire probably. Fire. You you can retrieve it, but, is but it functional? no. What about the arrows in the horse corpses? You can take them if you really want goblin crappy goblin. made arrows yeah. that yeah. smell of goblin mm. cave. Goblin fletching is not the yeah, best. I'm also gonna take the cart and sort of uh, get it off to the side. Okay, anybody gonna And anyways, if I had no, I can, poked I can him, The ox know. love you, so they'll do it. They'll, they'll do spin it on a dime. Just, just I'm talking to the prisoner. We'll do you know how to write? I, I assume not, but do you? I know how to write. And, and he kind of like pokes the... In the, common? No, and he basically was just piddling symbols. It doesn't mean anything. Oh, it's wait, gibberish. I speak goblin. Yeah, I'm going to speak there goblin. You go. I... Right in uh, Goblin, because I, I really don't want to talk to him anymore. Okay. <laughs> Everything he knows about the castle. <laughs> okay. If you do, if I find your knowledge lacking, I will beat you. I don't know You're anything. Horrible. I have he never been to the castle. Is he saying this in common? No, or he's, or he's not saying this in Goblin. Now, in his defense, everything in Goblin sounds, I will, like, I I will beat you. Sorry. Sorry. For those listening, it probably sounds like this. I got him! Yeah! That's yeah, yeah. That's very yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, how are you restraining the goblin, who now has a leaking wound of many pokes? Just a little, and actually, put so, some dirt on it. And, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try uh, intimidation. He's already pretty intimidating. Well, and I think I should yeah, get a scared. buff because I showed him the two burning corpses. I, I will give well, you advantage. You can roll two d twenty and take the higher of the two rolls. Yay! Okay. I need another d twenty. You should have two. It's actually right over here by the can. Oh, yeah, by the can. It's hiding. <laughs> In plain sight. He's like, 20! 20! 20! He, he is thoroughly intimidated by your evil arcane magic. He is sort of evil wizards, and he knows you can turn him into a frog and then cook him and eat his legs. Now, uh, I'll put like, <laughs> something simple to bind him, but I say, if you do break out, I will kill you after mercilessly torturing you. Do we have a deal? I will not try to escape. You are now, and right. This is a goblin. You don't know what I'm talking about. I will not try to escape or warn them either. <laughs> and, and, hey, hey. He means warn us about how horrible you are. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, we don't want them to know we're coming. We have to rescue. Also, we have to rescue good here. And hey, in my defense, I'm chaotic good. What do you expect? Okay, it's a little evilly. It's going a little dark. So I am on a mission. <laughs> oh, that's delightful. I'm making so, chaotic neutral. <laughs> now, so <laughs> I would I'm like to, mission. at this juncture, take the goblin in hand because he is. You're actually going to deign to touch him? Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Chi Chi is for. <laughs> Chi Chi will touch him. For <laughs> <laughs> How many servants do you have with him? With us? Three. Three servants. They're, they're 
we have Chi-Chi. Vida Noxie. Vida Noxie. <laughs> Her three servants had been running behind the cart, trying to keep up exhausted. <laughs> the whole time the cart was stopped, they've got their hands on their knees panting. Think, going, thank, thank you, lady. May we drink now? Of course oh my they God, you drink. Of course they can. And, and I love the movie reference for that. I thought yeah, I was They are very tall ladies. <laughs> Very tall. I just threatened to burn a goblin to death, and for some reason, I feel the least evil here. <laughs> the, the chaotic, whatever. Good. So I, go I am good. Yes. To the delightful little goblin. Like I have Chi Chi taken in hand for me, and, he, and drape a little, you know, silk cord about his neck, and I will have Chi Chi bandage his wound. Chi Chi, because it's not like it's really. He's crazy. a prisoner. And we don't leave our prisoners to bleed to death. That would be This terrible. is true. It would be ignoble. There were a couple little scratches. It like, could become he was bleeded, <laughs> And we want him to be alive so that he may face sentencing. <laughs> there hey, is. after, after, you tell me all you know about the castle again in Goblin. Uh, now, what, now you what's your name, little creature? Goblin? <laughs> Do you have a name? Slug. Splug. <laughs> now, Splug, I want you to listen to me. Do you understand the words I'm speaking, Splug? I, 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 if you I, wish, if you wish. I don't know this word, judgment. If you wish, I can translate for you. Oh, I think Splug and I are getting along splendidly. But, <laughs> but perhaps, you know, if he seems terribly confused, you could throw in the odd word or two just to explain. Oh, so he's shaking at this point, I'm guessing. Yes, from he, he's like, oh, God, I'm going to die. <laughs> 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 the one that was hitting the head by the mace when the like He's standing in a puddle now. <laughs> Splug, I would like you to follow along with us and be our guide. And then when we're done, we'll take you back to town. You're my prisoner now, and I will take care of you until it's time for your sentencing. Okay. Well, writing well, everything you know about the castle. Out, I'm going to make a medicine. No. Well, she's, she's having her handmade basically. Again, I say, <laughs> well, no, medicine wouldn't hurt. <laughs> and while you do this, you will write everything you know about the castle, and I'll give him paper. He and can't paper. write. And he basically he just. He's writing goblin. He scribbles gibberish. It's Wait, really? He's, he doesn't even know how to write in goblin. He doesn't know how to write He's a goblin. He's writing is not lying there. Low level. He basically has scribbled about. Nine different letters and different alphabets he's seen on things. Hey, hey, there's just there's not going to be any more out of this thing. And, and while you're there, he's the even writing. Kind of, it human. looks like the words that are on the outside of your spell book because he's looking at the book while he's <laughs> copying the, the it's letters. Actually, it's actually a, a help note. <laughs> <laughs> Please. So, so are are you going to bind him? Well, I have Chi Chi tie a silken cord around his neck and then something delightfully she she around his wrist. <laughs> and, and, you know, prevent him from using said hands. And then okay. Splug can follow along uh-huh. like a delightful goblin pet. Do you, okay, do, can I get more of these? Because I think by flaw, I'll do just about anything to uncover secrets and knowledge would, would fit with you this. You can only score one at a time. Oh, yeah, it's like then you different. have to use them. Because I'm mercilessly torturing this goblin. You are so knocked out. So, so he, I, 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 I'm on a mission. I, I, I can only. <laughs> she stabs through when the bandage. When you're God's favor, she It's just a little tiny prick. Okay, so we we just bandaged him. We have to rescue people. Uh, I, we are going uh, to I, eat a you. I cannot tell you, Castle, but perhaps our warlord can. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, he's we are going to have words with this warlord. I don't, I don't oh wanna, yes. I don't oh, yes, Galen, yes. we That's should try. Right. We're going to do the exact same scene with the warlord. There's no time to hesitate, people. We must go. As much as I enjoy this little I believe the Galen was right. Okay. <laughs> I think it's fine. So, so They're so obviously I'm... keeping Gunner for some reason so they know something. And we must rescue the human okay. before he is Next so time, we'll food. start with waterboarding. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the marching order here for going down this game trail? I think well, we had a pretty good marching order before. Okay, oh, I really feel like I should you'll be probably first. have to be going single file down. I'll just, I'll just say, I'll just say that. Fighters in the front, mages in the back. <laughs> well, I do feel I should go first, and that Splug should come with me. I'm behind Splug. <laughs> I don't know. No, Splug, Splug can stay with me. <laughs> Splug's my. Yeah, she does have Splug wrapped up. Fine. Prisoner, you may uh, have. You may. As, ha- you as may Splug have kind of mouths and goblins. 
Take me <laughs> away from this bad man. So, so he's going to be after nipples? I think nipple? his mouth should be back after, after we... Okay. He needs to have a gag. Until, You're so right, Galen. Because we don't want to give our uh, position away. I, I think... Can, you know, I think... Yeah, I think... Uh, I've talked to him. I think he understands his punishment if he did give our yes, position away. Yes, but once amongst his uh, yeah, comrades... What do you think might happen? It might, it might oh, promote know, within know, him a sense of... Splod, Splod, I will, I will say this in cop. Splod, what happens to you if you t- if you shout uh, that you're... Uh, that we're if here? you betray us well, in any way... Well, at this point, he's gagged, so you just get... Wait, we haven't... Well, yeah. Oh, she, she is very quick with the gag. Her lady has her well trained. Okay. Okay, so you guys are heading down the game trail. Okay, the whole time this con- the conversation is going, the dwarf has done a really good job of, you know, thanklessly taking care of the wagon and the supplies and the ox and so on. Okay. And he healed me. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so uh, was it me or was do, I, is, do I think it was the one? Is this trail going to be a day, or fire. should I use arcane recovery? You, you think it's it's probably not going to be too long. Uh, so not enough to. Rest yeah, not enough to rest. Then I use uh, arcade recovery to get my spell back. Okay. How, how does that work? Uh, you can regain some of your magical energies once per day during a short yeah, during First, short drain the life of a goblin. No. <laughs> well, I would. Yes, no, I do. Just, I'm going to step out. For my okay, so as you guys are heading down the trail, that's a good time to call it for the first episode. Woo! Pause. It's bloody happy. Oh, Splug, you delightful chap. Gundren here. Why haven't those adventurers found me yet? I'm betting it's because they're having such a great time at Tucson Games and Gadgets in their amazing gaming room. Now get off your duff and save me, my friends. And this has been another edition of D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Thank you for listening, and be careful. I've heard there's dragons about.